So George IV moved in just behind this building, if this didn't exist, yeah. into a, a really nice manor house. Mm. And before he built his palace, he built yeah. the stables. Right. That's what he built first, which was this. And if, as we walk around, you'll see he built this incredibly opulent stables. Yeah. And so everyone locally took, started taking the piss out of him that he'd housed his horses in a better way than he housed himself. Yeah. And so <laughs> then he bought, he built the actual royal pavilion, which you'll see mm. when we get around the corner, ah, which is the, nice. which was his royal palace. Yeah. But this is his stables, which is now a massive venue. The Bright Dome is our sort of biggest seated venue. It's the sort of venue you'd see really big. Yay. Like where you'd see the proclaimers yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever uh -huh. in the dome, or where Frank's played there. Uh, this is not him. <laughs> no. This no. is very slightly later. This is William the Fourth. William the Fourth. William the. William the. William and Mary William. Uh, no. William that's, that's here well before. just before Victoria. Oh yeah, yeah. George William dies. Before, William before. His brother that's becomes the yep. yep. king just for a very yep. short yep. amount of time. And so this is his off. gate that he yeah. built. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're kind of going backwards historically, <laughs> but that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's totally fine. We have a time machine. There you go. Oh yeah, it looks very fancy in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is. <laughs> what were the royal gardens? Okay. Um, still going backwards in time. <laughs> The reason this is a public space is that Vic Queen Victoria came here. So after she became queen, yeah. she obviously goes around and checks out all her stuff. Yeah. She comes here Tells to the Royal Palace at Brighton yep. and hates it. <laughs> Absolutely. And the main reason she hates it because it's in the right in the heart of town yeah. and everyone's really close by and she feels really cramped. So she sells it. So that's why it's the only publicly owned former royal space wow. in the country wow. because she goes I hate this you, I'm going to cl clear all my stuff out of it yeah and you can have Egos it, can have it. Yeah. yeah and she yeah. sells it to the council or the local town yeah yeah so it becomes so this building that which we were on the other side of is the stables uh-huh here's the palace which we will come around this out outside of this and you'll yep. see Oh it's wow! Really amazing. That it's is, amazing. That is crazy with the whole. That Whoa. is George the Fourth like down to his socks, man. This is for Let's, partying. Yeah. Let's, let's, this is all. This is for. This is his party house. Sex. Is this, so is this George the Fourth's king or just George the Fourth's regent? Both. He starts. He builds this while he's still regent. Yeah. He lives in it. The king, his dad. Wow. It. Of course he does, but he's too mad to do anything about it. So. George borrows so much money, gets into so much mm. debt to Parliament, he borrows all this money from yep. Parliament, and he secretly marries um, a, Catholic, is a it? girl here, yeah. it's Maria Fitzherbert. Yeah, that's right. So you'll see pubs called like Fitzherberts, uh -huh. but he's not supposed to have. Okay. Yeah. And Parliament declares his marriage illegal, yep. and partly because he owes them so much money. And then they say, we'll only keep loaning you money if you marry the choice of your father, and so he marries Maria Fitzherbert. No, he marries Cal Caroline Cal Ramswick, who his George III, his dad, mm -hmm. really gets on well with perhaps too well, although yeah. that's not in the official history. <laughs> yeah. um, and so See, he ha and they don't get along at all, but uh, they got married. Yeah, of course. And he's still basically also sort of carrying on with Maria Fitzherbert and just shagging anyone. Yeah, of course. Right. And because he's king and he can. Massively is what I overweight. As well. He becomes really, yeah, really fat mm -hmm. because he loves his. I mean, the, the, the banquets here are the best banquets yeah. in Europe. So he like, I want to be better than the King of France, whoever. So, yeah. mm -hmm. and there's a secret passage that goes that I've been in. Yeah. <laughs> that goes from there, which is where his bedroom was, yeah, yeah. to the stables, uh -huh. so that he can sneak out for two reasons. One, so he can go and have parties in the stables and take go riding with his girlfriends mm -hmm. and two because he's he doesn't want to be seen by the public yeah. because he doesn't want to be seen to be so overweight mm -hmm. and so that's this is a hole yeah is an air hole or a kind of light hole yeah. for a secret passage and they just recently did so if you notice there's a line of these yeah, yeah. that go along yeah. that's where the passage goes oh yeah there's another one over there um, about if you'd come three years ago Done them up and strengthened it, and you can sort of see the line. Yeah, yeah, no, you definitely can. And what yeah. they're doing is they're trying to make it safe enough that the public can go in it. Yeah. They haven't oh, yet that's cool, done it. though. It's going to be like maybe next summer. Yeah. Actually, I may be wrong, I may be out of date. Uh -huh. but, so, in theory, they'll have a tour that goes through the tunnel. Now, the other problem is that the, the or this is owned and run by the council. Uh huh. That is a council museum, but the land is owned by a different trust. 
and the dome is a different organisation. And the so they got to have some all play nice. Bureaucracy yeah. Yeah. to get the tunnel going from one to the other. Who's going to own and who's yeah. going to have ownership over the tunnel? That's right. All of that is actually almost a bigger problem now than making it safe. They've pretty much yeah. made it safe. Wow. Um, but there will be at some point there'll be tours that go through. Damn. So it's the first example of wrought iron being used in a domestic setting. So at mm -hmm. that time we had the technology to use wrought iron on bridges, yeah. like this massive technology. Yeah. He uses it for his banisters, <laughs> like wow. just like that. Yeah. And it's the first time, and it sets the style as well. Like this stuff became, yeah. you know, he's a total yeah. scene scene trend setter. Yeah.